Welcome back to Inform Overload. I'm your host, Johnny Rogers, and you're watching the number one tea spilling entertainment news show on the internet. The way that Hollywood judges the worth of an actor is very bizarre. I mean, someone could be considered an A-list actor, but still be grossly underpaid. But before we get into that, if you happen to be new here and you don't want to miss another daily video from us, just tap that subscribe button to join our notification squad. Now, without any further delay, let's get right into today's list, the top 10 actors that got paid less than they are worth. In at number 10, Chris Evans. We all know Chris Evans as Captain America, but before that, when he made his initial appearance as the Marvel superhero, Evans had to take a big pay cut. Chris Evans had been acting already for over 10 years by the time that he landed this role, so he knows what a big payday from acting looks like, and attached to that would be how he values his acting capabilities. Although for Captain America the First Avenger, Evans reportedly earned only $300,000, which is without a doubt a lot of money, but still nowhere near the $43.5 million that he would end up making between June 2018 and June 2019 due to his continued role as Captain America in the MCU. In at number 9, Ryan Gosling. Two years after Gosling got paid a million dollars to star in The Notebook, he was valued at a much lower price for what would become his first Oscar-nominated role. The super low-budget indie film known as Half Nelson had Ryan Gosling starring as an inner-city middle school teacher. In the film, Gosling's character forms a friendship with one of his students after she discovers that he has a bad drug habit. Despite his Oscar-nominated performance, Ryan only received a thousand dollars a week for the film, which is still double what an actual middle school teacher makes but a far cry from the million dollar payday that he's used to seeing. In at number 8, Matthew McConaughey. Up until about 2010, Matthew McConaughey had mainly done romantic comedies. Saying yes to any and all acting gigs that came his way, Matthew was building an enormous resume but felt that he was being pigeonholed within the industry. Wanting to show off his acting chops in more situations than just romance or comedy, Matt decided to take a year and a half off from acting. In that time, he declined so many roles that finally he became a reasonable choice for something other than what people were used to seeing him in. When he started the Lincoln lawyer, this elevated his acting career to a completely different level. It even landed him a big time sponsorship deal to be the face of Lincoln the Car Company. Although to fully change the mind of his critics and win an Oscar for Best Actor, McConaughey had to take a massive pay cut. For his award winning role as Ron Woodruff in Dallas Buyers Club, the star only received $200,000, much less than what he was worth at the time of his acting career turnaround. In at number 7, Jamie Lee Curtis. When you think about the Halloween franchise, you have to include Jamie Lee Curtis. She has championed this series of scary movies for decades and remained as a face for hope against Michael Myers. Jamie Lee Curtis had been acting for about two years when she landed her starring role in the original 1978 Halloween movie. And at the time, it would have certainly been difficult to predict just how great of an actor Jamie Lee would become, and therefore she was only paid a measly $8,000 for the film. Although the film turned her into a giant movie star, the low-budget thriller was made for a total of $325,000, and part of that budget was $200 that they gave Jamie to buy her own clothing for her character. She told People magazine that at 19 years old she was suddenly going to JC Penney and buying Lori's entire wardrobe with just $200 from the studio. Upon reflecting on this experience though, she maintains that at the time getting $2,000 a week was still a lot of money. I mean, even now it is, but considering that she has an estimated net worth of $70 million, it really wasn't that much for her level of acting. In at number six, Tom Cruise. After Tom Cruise met director Paul Thomas Anderson while filming Eyes Wide Shut, the pair really started to bond over the loss of their fathers. This friendship led to Cruise starring in the film Magnolia. Magnolia. Magnolia really came about because of the shared grief that they now had with each other, and overall, Tom just loved the script. At the time, Tom Cruise was already a mega star. He already had Top Gun and Risky Business under his belt, and both of which are now commonly referred to as some of his best work. According to the website Casimo, Tom Cruise allegedly makes over $7,000 per word of dialogue in a scene, meaning that if you want Tom Cruise in your movie for 10 seconds, that could cost you upwards of $200,000. Although when it came to agreeing to star in the film Magnolia, Tom took way less than what he was worth and only made $100,000 on that movie. In at number 5, Brad Pitt. Eight years before Brad Pitt was stars Tyler Durden in Fight Club, he was paid next to nothing for one of his first major film roles. From about 1987 to 1991, Brad was mainly acting in various TV shows, but when the opportunity arose to move up to the big time, he took it. Brad played a supporting character named JD in the film Thelma and Louise, but his acting chops were very underappreciated. Pitt only received $6,000 for the movie, but it wouldn't be long before that small sacrifice in pay turned into more more exposure, which resulted in very big paydays for the A-lister. For his next film, California, he made $500,000, and then for Fight Club, he made an astonishing $17.5 million. In at number four, Jennifer Lawrence. It's hard to imagine the star of the incredibly successful Hunger Games franchise being paid less than she's worth, but it's happened on more than one occasion. In fact, J-Law has been a huge advocate for equal pay when it comes to how women and men are paid in Hollywood. Before her big starring role in the Hunger Games, for which she made half a million dollars for, Jennifer received 
received $3,000 a week for a lead role in the 2010 film Winter's Bone. Winter's Bone received widespread critical acclaim, with Jennifer Lawrence's performance in particular being universally loved. Even though this was all well before her big breakout role, she was still nominated in the Best Actress category at the Oscars. In at number three, Jonah Hill. Working alongside the great Martin Scorsese is considered an honor and a privilege for most actors, some of which even take much less than what they're worth just for the opportunity. Before The Wolf of Wall Street, Jonah Hill was already very well known as a comedic actor. He had been in Superbad, which became a cult classic, and two years prior to Wolf of Wall Street, he had already held his own next to Brad Pitt in Moneyball. There was no doubt that Jonah Hill could act in a multitude of different ways other than just comedy. But to seal this opportunity, he accepted $60,000 and demanded that they fax him a contract. And $60,000, by the way, is like the minimum. That's like an actor's minimum wage. Jonah Hill asked him to fax him a contract because he didn't want Martin to suddenly change his mind overnight, even if the actor's salary was way lower than anyone else's. In number two, George Clooney. To write, direct, and star in Good Night and Good Luck, George Clooney received an upfront salary of, wait for it, $3. Yep, $3. Now we all know George Clooney is worth far more than $3 for his acting capabilities. I mean, at one point in time, he was Batman, so it seemed bizarre for him to be getting such a low amount up front for his role in this film. However, it turned out that because this was more of a passion project for George, he didn't care to take a large profit for his starring role. Taking that aspect of doing it for the money out of his acting, and you end up with a really great movie. In fact, in 2006, it was nominated for six Academy Awards and ended up making just over $56 million. When speaking about why he made the film, Clooney told the Huffington Post, Good night and good luck I wrote because I was mad because I was being called a traitor to my country because I said we should ask questions before we send people to war. And I found a way to express that in film. Last but certainly not least in our number one spot, Jennifer Lopez. J-Lo chose her passion for the entertainment industry over a paycheck when it came to making her box office hit Hustlers. Yes, you heard that correct. She took zero dollars to produce and star in a film that brought in over a hundred million dollars domestically since its opening weekend. Although the film revolves around power, greed, and control, Lopez insists that she never does movies for the money. When speaking to the press, she said, I've always been motivated by I want to be a great actress, a great singer, a great dancer, I want to make movies, I want to make music, and the money just came along with that. With that, let's check out some of your comments from the video titled, Dancing Nurses on TikTok Have Gone Too Far. Sav says, just throw the whole app away. <laughs> Yeah, it seems like it's about that time that we just throw away the entire TikTok app. Kristen says, Proof that having a respectable career doesn't necessarily mean you're a respectable person. Wow, spitting facts. Shady facts. KTP says, How did no one say, Stop, let's think about how this will be perceived? That's what I was thinking. Not one person in that group said, Um, maybe this isn't a good idea. Just some big foot with internet access says, At least I don't have to worry about any nurses out here in the woods. You do have to worry when you catch a cold though, okay? Be careful out there. There's no nurses in the woods, obviously. You're Bigfoot, you'll be fine. Carla J says, okay, I'm a nurse and I can't imagine doing this. First off, it's unprofessional. Second, who has the time to do this at a hospital? I barely have enough time to go to the bathroom during my shift, let alone make TikTok videos. What is going on? Finally, a nurse actually weighs into the conversation to back up how crazy this has all been for them to be doing. Thank you for validating what I said in the video. And if you haven't seen the video, go watch the video. It's crazy. But that's all I have for you today. That has been the top 10 actors that got paid less than they were worth. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, then show us some love here by tapping that like and subscribe subscribe button. Plus, don't forget to leave us your comments down below with your thoughts on this list. And for more videos like this one, all you gotta do is tap that playlist when it pops up on your screen. From Inform Overload, my name is Johnny Rogers, and until next time, stay classy.